Hello and welcome back to Sean and Belize. Today I'm in Lubantun Archaeological Reserve, which is a Mayan site in southern Belize. Uh, we're about just outside the uh, village of San Pedro, Colombia in the Toledo district. And we're going to check out a fairly unexcavated um, Mayan site here. Interesting point of note about Lubantun, besides other things we'll be learning, is the Skull of Doom. A crystal skull was claimed to have been found here with magical powers that could cure or kill people. So let's learn more about that. And in the comments, let me know what you believe about these crystal skulls. But let's check out Lubantun. We were the first visitors in three days and had the site all to ourselves. Lubantun was occupied between about 700 AD to 900 AD, has been empty since, and it's generally unexcavated this site, generally. So what we're gonna see is the city center that would have spread out uh, quite a bit. In the early 1900s, 1902, 1903, local mines um, told a archaeologist about this place. He claimed to discover it for himself. In about 1927, 1928, an adventurer by the name of Mitchell Hodges came down, uh, started to excavate. Um, most of his excavations centered around one Mayan family's tomb um, but it was his daughter who had claimed to have found the crystal skull uh, also known as the skull of doom which had magical powers to kill or cure someone and of course anytime you stop at one of these sites be sure to check out any museums they have and if you can find a local guide by all means get one today I'm with a local guide named Geronimo we actually picked up on the road on the way here you can see inside explains uh, the different levels of excavation. As I said, they started in 1927, 24, I believe. And then uh, the next thing wasn't really done until the 70s. And then 98, 99, and documents of how it's changed through uh, the years and what they found how much more has grown. And of course, as I mentioned, the mystery of the crystal skull. So going back to that, even though they were here in 1924, Mitchell Hedges, there was no mention of finding that crystal skull until his memoirs in 1954 in a book called Danger, My Ally. Apparently some people believe came from Atlantis, or maybe Tibet, or Egypt. People still argue about it today and believe in it today, so let me know what you believe in the comments. You'll see a good portion of this is still in ruins. These were once buildings, temples, in the city center. To give an answer to their family life, government, politics, and their social. Although you might not recognize it now. <laughs> yeah, they might not recognize it. This is one of the ball courts. Uh, somewhat excavated, but not restored to where the ancient game of Puck to Puck was played. And there's three ball courts at this site and various other structures. It measures about 250 feet above the sea level. So this first temple we're looking at is the Temple of the Sun God. Um, one thing I want to point out here that you don't see in a lot of Mayan sites it's is the, the curved corners. 
is 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 um the Mayan believe that this side corner wrong it it is called it that they believe it's peaceful they are not a warrior okay but some other sides they believe that it has pyramid like straight or like a square they believe that they are very believe that they are warrior they are not peaceful but these one here are peaceful we'll so we're looking at here is one of the right. king's burial sites so this would be a tomb that's the original tomb for the king and on top so the yeah, temple so of the sun place. god normally there would be a royal palace up here um it's believed that it was a wooden structure um and it just didn't make it for some reason it was built with some sort of uh natural um wood type thatching so that did not make it through the years and also hurricane iris took a toll on this one So here we see the other side of the Sun Temple, which leads to the next structure is the Jaguar Temple. It has about nine layers. About nine layers on the Jaguar Temple. Yes, sir. And across from the two of these is the Sacred Temple. So looking at the Sacred Temple in the state that it's in now is much lower than it was. It was at least 350 feet high. Um, would have been higher than the Jaguar Temple or the Sun Temple, but in its current state uh, It's actually smaller than these two and this is uh, look at another side of the Jaguar Temple as we lead into a Courtyard of sorts So looking back at the sacred temple come up and this structure is still Actually part of that. that is the this is where the altars would have been and somewhere in this area is where they claim to have found the crystal skull. And if I'm guessing, can I guess? Is this another ball court? This is a ball court. Another ball court. Acropolis. Acropolis ball court. Because it's the highest one up. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Don't worry, she wants to be watching the picture. Look at this one here, guys. It's very beautiful. It has like a little archway you know more like of the uh, curved stones yeah curved stones. so this is the back of the ball court where the water lily well lubantun is is on either side of it is uh well what now they're calling creeks a creek on one side of it a creek on the other so once a stream probably a river before that you can hear it hear one of them wow, these old building stones are gonna try not to fall you see gumbo limbo trees just surrounding the entire place I'm standing on top of some unexcavated <laughs> structure right on the edge leading down to the next creek so one of the most important finds here was uh figurines lots of figurines and one they believe depicted the dress of the players playing the ancient ball game um so that way it gave them an idea of what they would wear while they were playing back then with different pads and so it's uh it's one way that they learn about history there's nobody to tell of it from then so they find it through figurines through glyphs and some of those figurines were found right here on the other side of the jaguar temple here yeah. you can see going down steps going down and although another excavations have been done they do believe that there are rooms underneath the uh, the temple. And is that the other creek there? That's the creek there. And the creek on the one side. Right now, we're so, walking. Yeah. Looking at where we're standing and walking around. That's a and it looks like we're at the bottom of this temple. But we're actually halfway up. Because down here there are 
One, five two, levels. Uh -huh. We're on the fifth level yeah, now. Yeah, we're on the fifth layer. The sixth layer. So this is how much has not been restored. Just yeah, just this one here. Okay, one more thing to show you guys. It's the only place where we are going to. From on top of this wall behind me, you can see the festival center. And what would the building be across the way? That's at the top, where we can be believed that some of the royal kings can be living there too as well. Okay. We have a lot more. more so you see down low here. Ceremonies, festivals, right in that center. So from this point again, we're looking at the, the festival plaza. And then right next to that, a little bit smaller, is the ceremonial plaza. And that one there will be the ball court. And there's your third ball court. The third ball court where they do bloodletting. Right away onto the site they do bloodletting. Climbing down t into the ceremonial. ceremonial plaza. This is where the other ball court was, the third one. And as we move back here we would get to where they would have their market where they're going to sell their wares and food and vegetables and herbs and I assume baskets. Did they sell baskets? It's interesting climbing down these steps with no mortar. Just kind of trusting the structure. So out in this area would be more living quarters not the royal living quarters but uh housing for the next layer down from the top level royals and elite of the time wandering off a little bit on my own so trying to look out for snakes or anything crazy but as we come to the very back of this structure Again, leading down to a stream. And again, you can see, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there are uh, the same kind of building rocks that wouldn't be found right on this mountain. So this would have been steps layering up to a much larger structure. 13 level. Probably they might still live in here. This site is actually a fairly decent sized site, <laughs> yeah. um, but because it was short lived, less than 200 years, uh -huh. um, and because it hasn't been fully excavated and rebuilt, mm -hmm. it's less popular, less yeah, is less known about it. Yeah. Less so, popularity, yeah. the only thing it's unfortunate. The only thing they claim to have found our, was the crystal skull. Some of our clients, <laughs> some of our people, they do not believe that they brought the crystal skull here. They brought the crystal skull here, but <laughs> I don't even know if they found it here. Yeah, they found, so, they found the crystal skull. The daughter, Anna uh -huh. Mitchell Hodges, uh -huh. who claimed to have found the skull originally, yeah. was they can never prove that she was ever in belief. Yeah, they can never prove that they are in belief. Yes. And then they found that her brother uh -huh. bought a crystal skull <laughs> at yeah, a Sotheby here. auction. Yeah. And put so, it there and they believe that they said they are just making a movie. Mm -hmm. But originatedly that my ancestor, my great great grandfather, speak to me that they told me that crystal skull is living here. <laughs> there you go. So, so people yeah. still believe it yeah, today. Still we believe that the Some people believe they proved it as a hoax because of all the tests that were done on it. Yeah. So let me know in the comments what you believe. <laughs> all right, no problem. So it's fun either way. Some like what mm. we said. Okay, guys, this is it right here. And it's to a nine level. Well, I hope you enjoyed a quick tour of Lubantun. A uh, little insight into one of the lesser popular um, mine sites here. Uh, definitely worth checking out. It's still a beautiful area. If you're headed down south, make this a stop along the way. 
and be sure to get a local tour guide to give you an idea of you don't know what you're looking at unless you have a local tour guide to tell you what the temples are and and what they are i had geronimo with me hey guys geronimo you'll find him on the road maybe or in the parking lot all right make sure you subscribe like this video share it see you at the next one